Thanks to an email typo, a man in Arizona was accidentally invited to a total stranger's bachelor party. And what happened next brings us to a segment called The Kind of Story We Need Right Now. This is William Novak of Phoenix, Arizona. A couple weeks ago, he got a group email titled Angelo's Bachelor Party, inviting him to a party in Vermont for a guy he'd never met. That's because the email was meant for a different William Novak. But the address was accidentally misspelled. So while you or I would have written back and said, sorry, wrong address, this guy hit reply all and wrote, count me in. <laughs> and, and the guys organizing the party wrote back and said, you're not the guy we meant to invite, but you sound awesome. Get your ass to Vermont. <laughs> this is the kind of story we need right now. We all, every one of us, get a million emails a day and they all suck. Every email in our inbox is asking us to do something we don't want to do, like meet with our supervisor, or pay our bills, or have coffee with Karen so she can get closure. But this guy <laughs> got an email offering him a chance to have an adventure and he took it. Now, Will, Will's a new dad. He can't be throwing his money around on spontaneous trips. And that's why he started a GoFundMe page called Help Me Go to the Bachelor Party of a Stranger. The whole trip was funded in two hours! <laughs> to make sure Will wasn't a murderer, the guys planning the party asked him to send a photo of himself. And because Will is the coolest guy ever, he sent this picture of him doing karate in second grade! <laughs> and then, in case you thought this couldn't get any better, that picture went on the official bachelor party t-shirt. This is the kind of story we need right now. The headlines these days are filled with examples of toxic masculinity. We need more of this kind of masculinity, the kind that makes men go skiing in matching t-shirts. <laughs> Word about this whole thing got out on social media, and then more cool stuff happened. People offered the guys free ski listens, free tattoos, free beef jerky. And when Will landed at the airport for the bachelor party, a guy from a local brewery met him there with a bunch of free beer. This is the kind of story we need right now. Because Americans... Americans love a lot of things. Freedom, independence, guns for some reason, but there's literally nothing we love more than free <laughs> So how did the bachelor party go? You know, it was pretty standard. They did regular bachelor party stuff like drinking, smoking cigars, and driving around in a free Maserati. <laughs> I didn't even know Vermont had Maseratis. <laughs> Our country's more divided than ever, so it's a delight to see just one story about people coming together. So thank you, Will Novak, for opening that email instead of ignoring it, like I do with mine, because this is the kind of story we need right now. Yeah.